Chapter 1, How to Build a Business with Content Marketing Let's start with a super simple definition for content marketing. Content marketing is releasing something interesting that grabs attention for a business and builds trust. That's it. Easy, right? For some companies like Red Bull, it means hundreds of staff in professional studios creating multi-million dollar feature films and releasing them for free. For others, it means writing blog posts, putting recipes and nice images on Instagram or recording a podcast. The most important pieces of the content marketing definition are attention and trust. You want to put out content that helps people, gets them to pay attention to you and your business and over time garners their trust. These people become part of your community, they help promote your content, refer people to your business and may even become partners or customers. This book is a form of content marketing. If you are reading this, I have your attention. By the end, you will feel like you know me and you will trust me more than you did before. You will know of my businesses and you will be part of my worldwide community of passionate content marketers. The idea has been around for hundreds of years. One of the earliest recognized forms of content marketing was a magazine started in 1895 by John Deere called The Furrow. It provided interesting information about farming and built a worldwide following for the brand which continues to this day. With the emergence of the web and social media, content marketing has exploded. The core idea is the same, but the methods for doing it, and more importantly, doing it well, have changed dramatically. Are you a blogger or a content marketer? So you're fired up about content marketing and ready to start or improve on your own content strategy. But first, I'm going to fill you in on some bad news. I get hundreds of comments and emails from people who are frustrated because for the vast majority, content marketing does not seem to work. Out of all of the failure I see, I can narrow almost all of it down to one simple question. If I were to ask you what the most important task as a content marketer is, what would you say? How about you? Did you say creating content or blogging? If you did, then you made the mistake that most failed content marketers make. You see yourself as a creator of content or a blogger, but you don't see yourself as a marketer. You have assumed that your job is to create content when really your job is to market a business. Luckily, this book isn't a book on how to write blog posts. It's a book about how to build a business using content marketing. Let's look at how that works. There are three components. And in the the book, there's a graphic. On the left, it says great content. On the right, it says a great business. And then linking the two is this thing I call monetization logic. It may not be the sexiest name, uh, but it's, it's the word I give to the link between great content and a great business. Of course, you need to create great content that grabs the attention of your audience and builds their trust. The ability to identify what great content is and do it at scale on an ongoing basis is what the majority of this book focuses on. Creating great content is not enough because without a great business, you are sending attention to something that is broken or non-existent. Finally, there needs to be a logical link between the two. I call this monetization logic. I will talk more about that towards the end of this chapter. For now, uh, let's look at how to build a great business.